Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. As you come on, share the broadcast. Hey, thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast. Share, share the broadcast with your followers. Share. God is so good. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here, Sanctuary of Love International Ministries is my ministry here in the United States. God bless you. Share the broadcast. Share the grace, everybody. Share, share, share the broadcast. Share. Tweet it out. Tweet it out. I'm going to, I have a word for you today. I'm going to be talking about sold out. What does that mean? What does it say in the word of God? And, and what must we do in our life to surrender our will and our way to the things that God is telling us? What is written in the word of God? But share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Make sure to follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here on Periscope. God is so good. I thank him. I praise him because there's none like him worthy 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 is the lamb of god oh i thank you jesus i praise you god thank you for joining the broadcast hey ah oh, god bless you welcome 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 thank you so much yeah hey god bless you share the broadcast with your followers and follow me here prophetess debbie wilson here on periscope i have a word for you today god bless you god bless you Ah, oh, god bless you god bless you i'm here just to deliver the word of god to pray for you if you have a prayer request let me know and let me know where you're watching me from. I'm here in the United States. God bless you. God bless you so much. Oh, oh, you invited people. Oh, 1963 or what have you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. God is so good. I'm so excited about this message and about the things of God. I'm so excited to be used by God today. Amen. Oh, God bless you. Oh, Atlanta, Hotlanta, right? <laughs> That's what they say. I'm here in Michigan. It's starting to warm up. You know, Michigan can get kind of cold. We're now about 75, 75 degrees Fahrenheit here. So everything is greening up. We're finally able to go outside and without a coat and all that kind of stuff. So God bless you. Hey, share with your followers. Make sure to follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson. Yes, I'm talking about surrendering your will and your way to the things of God about being sold out. Amen. You ain't going to read the word of God. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, God. We come before you right now praying for strength, God. Praying for strength because that's so much a big part of it, God. Give us your strength so that we will surrender our will and our way and our times and our lives, whatever it is, our money, our whatever it is, God, our talents, whatever it is, God. Let us surrender our way to you, God. We know that's going to take strength, God. We can't do it on our own. We can't do nothing without you, Jesus. Continue to strengthen us in your way by your word, God. Oh, by our prayer life, God. God and by our obedience to the things of you, God. God, we know that you love us, God. We know that you want the best for us, that you want us to live an abundant life, God. And we thank you, God, and we believe it, and we ask this in your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen. It is so. It is so. God is with you. God will give you the strength. He knows the desires of your heart. He will give you the strength to walk in obedience, to walk and surrender, to grow, to be more mature in the things of God. Amen. 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 God is so good. God is so good. You Thank you for joining the broadcast. You've blessed me today by your presence. When you come on these broadcasts, you don't know if any Everybody's going to be here or not, but every time I get on the broadcast and, I, and if I follow the will of God, I'm blessed by somebody from these broadcasts. Amen. Make sure to follow me here. Prophet is Debbie Wilson and share, 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 share. 
So let's look at, like I said, what it means to be sold out just means to surrender everything to God. But why don't we surrender? It sounds so easy. Okay, God, you just take it. I, I surrender my life, my will, everything to you, God. We are fearful. As human beings, we are fearful to surrender everything to anything. God bless you. Blessings in the name of Jesus. Hey, God bless you. So good you're here today. Good afternoon. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Everybody pump those hearts. God bless you. Oh, yes. I'm so happy you're here. It's so good to be in the land of the living. And God gave me the message today about being sold out. And surrendering our will. That's all sold out means. Just surrendering our lives totally to the will of the Father. Amen, amen, amen. You know, as humans, we're fearful. We always want to hold on. We want to hold on to everything so tightly. God is asking us to let go and let him lead us and let him guide us and to not value anything before him. But you know, it's just our nature to just want to hold on. I'll give you a peace, God. I'll let you control my life in these certain areas. You know, the areas that we're comfortable in, that's what we give to God. And God is saying, no, I want all of you. I want you to surrender all of your will, everything that you possess. If, if, you know, whatever you have, you should be able to surrender that to God. If he asks you to do that or to, you know, bless someone or to do something for someone, God wants us to live a life of abundance. So he doesn't want us to lack anything. He doesn't want us to be without. So he's not saying, you know, like be in poverty or, or don't have nice things or, but he's wanting to us to Keep our priorities straight. That he's number one. He's the number one for everything. He doesn't want us straddling the fence, being lukewarm. Our foot in part of our feet, foot one foot in the world and one foot in God, in the kingdom of God. He wants us to be fully sold out and surrendered because he can use us as vessels when we're like that. When we when he knows that we can trust him totally, that you know, we're not uh, worshiping him and man, you know, that we're not being stagnant. We're growing, you know, that, that, that we're moving and we're, we're staying focused on the things of God. Thank you for joining the broadcast. As you come on, share the broadcast, share the grace, share with your followers. Yeah. And follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson. God bless you. Yes, indeed. Yes. Follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here on Periscope and share Share, share, share the broadcast. Share the grace. I'm going to be taking prayer requests during this broadcast. So if you have a prayer request, just share that. Share that into the broadcast. And I'm praying for you. Or you can friend me on Facebook, uh, Debbie Wilson. And I take prayer requests via Facebook Messenger. You can just type those in as a text request and I follow up on those. Yeah, and make sure to follow me on uh, Facebook. If you're on Facebook, Debbie Wilson, so you can catch my broadcast on Facebook as well. Glory to God. God is so good. God is so good. I thank him. I praise him. So I have the word of God for you. But I'm just talking about this thing of being surrendered. You know, this is a process. It's a process. It's something we all struggle with. Just when we think we've made it, God will shine a light on an area and say, oh boy, now you're not really surrendering maybe your finances, all your finances to me. Oh, you're not surrendering all of your time to God. You're not surrendering um your talent or your gifting to God or, or you're not su- helping that neighbor. You're not trying to bless someone or just different things. God will show you an area, you know. And we're going to go on to read the word of God, but, but, but you know, he used, amen. Yeah. He uses the example of a rich man in the, in the Bible. He comes up to God, you know what I'm saying? And Mark and everything, I'm going to be reading that. He comes up to God and he says, oh, good, sir. You know, God's asking, why are you calling me good? Only uh, Jesus is saying, only person good is my father. So he knowing the man isn't quite coming to him. Correct. He's coming with flattery. He says, uh, the rich man asks uh, Jesus, what must I do to inherit an eternal life? You know, and, and God says, well, um, you know, you know, I've, I know 
you, he, God already knew who he was. He already knew he was following the 10 commandments and everything such as that. But you know, he said there was one thing he's telling this rich man. He knew it was his possessions. He wasn't totally surrendering over to God. So God told him this, there's this one thing, you know, um, follow the commandments. You know, the rich guys tell him, I follow all the commandments, but God said this one thing, you know, your riches, he said, like surrender all of your riches to me, take up your cross and walk with me. And therefore you shall have eternal life. So he was given the rich man an answer. What must I do to have eternal life? God was telling him, even though you're following the 10 commanders, surrender your finances or your possessions is how he said it. And you could have eternal life. Well, that discouraged the rich man. He was like sad that God had told him, give up all his possessions. He didn't do it. You know, he didn't do that and he didn't get eternal life. And so we're going to be reading about all that. God has given us instructions in his word. We got the Bible. We can sit down and read that at any time. He's available to us in prayer. That's another thing. God's saying about being sold out. You're available to God. You're available to be used by God. You're spending time with him. You're developing a friendship with God by reading his word and praying and, and meditating means to think about his word. Don't just read a Bible verse and then don't think about, well, what does that verse mean? Or how can I apply that to my life? You know, it's a process, everybody. It's a, it's a process for us, you know? So, and, and we're all pressing toward the mark of greatness. So this is for you, I, but that's what God gave me the message about being sold out. It's just to be surrendered and to let fear go. Don't be afraid when you let go and let God, he has so many blessings in store for you. You know, a lot of times we want to, um, we want God to bless us, but we don't want to do our part. We just think God's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing and we don't have to do our parts, but that's not how it works. You know, God wants us to be in relationship with him. You know, that's what he wants us to be in relationship with him and to commune with him. He wants us to know. He wants to know that he can trust us. We're surrendered to him. Then he can say, okay, son or daughter, let me pour out all these blessings I have for you. Cause I know you're going to do the right thing with them. You know, I can trust you. You, you've grown, you've matured matured. You're fruitful. He likes things that are fruitful. When we show growth, we're being fruitful, you know, and God likes that because that's life. That's, that's life. You know, that's, that's not death or stagnation. You know, like if you ever notice water, if, if it's still like water gets dirty, has a stinky smell. If it's not moving, he, he wants us to keep moving. Critique to keep growing, to keep focusing on him and, and, and trust in him and, and believe in him and, and knowing that all is well, knowing that all is well, no matter what we're going through that, do you know that he can use us? I don't know. My hair is doing weird stuff today. Just forgive me y'all. But anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, so God is good. And, and, and there's another thing about being distracted. Keep your mind on the things of God. Keep, stay, stay positive. Stay focused. God is even looking at how we act, how we behave. He can tell by the way we act or the way that we behave if we're truly sold out to him. Hey, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Oh, it's freezing up. I don't know. It could be my connection. I don't, it's not freezing on my end, but you know how this internet is. We come against anything that's trying to come against our airways to uh, mess up this broadcast, God. Oh, God, let it be removed by Holy Ghost fire. Let the airways clear up on this periscope broadcast so that your will and your way can be completed, God. We surrender everything to you. The airways, our thoughts. Oh, God, let it be about you, God. Oh, thank you, God. Amen. Amen. So, 
Hopefully it'll get better. I'm praying it'll get better. If it keeps freezing, let me know. Is there anybody else that's having difficulty with the broadcast? One person is saying it's freezing. So you can type in your prayer request. But yeah, I was talking about, I'm just here for a short time today. But I was just talking about, you know, in the book of Mark, uh, and that's where it talks about the rich man and all that. That's Mark 10 and 17. So you can read all that. It gives an example of the rich man and the conversation he had with Jesus. And it gives him, um, gives him the comments that Jesus answered him and, and the instructions that Jesus gave him. So it goes all the way. Mark, you see, you're going all the way, all the way. Read Mark 21. Keep going. So you'll read all those verses, you know, yes, yes. And then where it talks about the rich man was grieved, that's all in Mark 10 and 22. So just keep reading those uh, verses there. Most of it's all in Mark. Um, um, yeah, and so, and then, and then God was teaching his disciples after he had the conversation with the rich man. And this is in Mark 10 and 23. Thank you for joining as you come on, share the broadcast. We've been having a little technical difficulties, but I'm trusting God and I'm believing God. So Mark 10 and 23, I'm taking prayer requests as you come on, share, share, share with your followers. Follow me here, Prophetess Debbie Wilson here on Periscope. So in Mark 10 and 23, it is he's telling his disciples, this is Jesus talking. How heartily shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? You know, and the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said unto them, this is Mark 10 and 24. Children, how hard is it for them that trust the riches to enter into the kingdom of God? So it was just, he's teaching his disciples from this rich man. This is just an example of surrendering, whatever it could be. It doesn't have to be like financial, like riches. It could be your time, your talent, but it's a matter of God has given us the answers for eternal life. He's given us the answers for an abundant life on this life. We just need to follow his instructions and to surrender our will and our right way to him. That's what it means to be saved sold out. You're just surrendering your times, talent, your will, your way to God and you're trusting God. He doesn't want us to have our foot in the world and our our foot in the things of God in the Christian life. He wants us to be steadfast, immovable, trustworthy, surrendered, sold out to him. Yeah, so you know, and God is telling in Mark 10 and 25, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. So that's just, he's just wanting him to be number one priority. That's what it is. He doesn't want us worshiping people, our money, um, clothes, cars, things, whatever it might be. Prestige, you know, a lot of times people want to be gods. Men want to be God. I mean, they want the power of Almighty God. Um, influence, you know, those that are influencers. Not saying those are bad things, but you've got to be careful so that you're not worshiping people and making gods out of people. You know, we, you know, idol, that's idol worship. So we're supposed to have our mind, everything, our body, our life, our possessions surrendered to the will of God. That's what it means to be sold out to God. Amen. That that's what I'm talking about today is surrendering your will to the father. And God knows that you can't get away with it. Even though we're thinking with our finances, let's say, we just take a piece of it. Here, God, I've done that. When there's more that God has told us to do, and we say, well, I've done my part, God. You know, it's like we're still trying to keep control, you know, like a child. We're we're holding on so tight. Oh, oh, oh you know, because we're afraid to let go and surrender everything to the will of the Father. And we need to do better. We need to grow. God wants us to be fruitful, 
fruitful. Surrender, surrender your will to the things of God. Yes, amen. Share, share, share the broadcast. Share the broadcast with your followers and just, you know, follow me here, Prophetess Debbie Wilson. Yes, I've skimmed over some of the verses. I talked about the story in Mark about the rich man. God told him how to have eternal life, but the rich man in the end wasn't obedient. He wanted his possessions, so he missed eternal life. This is how important the structure, the instructions from God are for us to follow. It's for this life and then the life beyond. You know, he sees all, knows all. We can't get away with anything. We think we're getting away with things on a temporary basis, but... I'm telling you, God sees all and knows all. And this is the reason he gave me this word today, you know? And I know we're all, it's all a process. It's all a process. And he's just shining a light, you know, take a personal inventory. When you pray to God, commune with God, or when you fast, ask God, what areas can I improve in God? What areas am I not surrendered to you in God? He'll show you, but be obedient. Obedience is a lot of times is better than sacrifice. If you're obedient to God, he, he loves that. He's like, Oh, you're doing, you know, you're doing what your father is saying. Then he can trust you. He can pour out those blessings he has for you because because he knows he can trust you. So surrender your will to God. Be sold out to God. Don't be lukewarm. Don't, don't straddle the fence. Amen. Amen. So in first Kings eight and 61, it says, let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord, our God to walk in his statues and to keep his commandments as at this day. So we got to walk in his statues and it's not just, you know, it's like keeping those commandments he's got written, but you know, we like to walk in the shades of gray thinking we can get away. Okay. This is in black and white, A, B, C, D, and E is what we're supposed to do. I'll just kind of hide in between D and E. Or I'll just kind of do a piece of this, or I'll just, you know, do the parts I want to do, but do, don't do the parts that I don't feel like doing. I'll do the parts, God, that make me comfortable, but I won't do the parts that make me uncomfortable. No, your blessings are in the uncomfortable. Your blessings are in the things that you don't want to do because those are areas you haven't surrendered to the will to of God. You're not sold out to God 100%. And he knows that you can't fool God. He sees all. He knows all. So in Colossians 4 and uh, 4 and 2, it says, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. So God is telling us, just continue to pray. You know, he knows, he knows we're trying. He sees we're trying. So you've got to trust God. Be sold out. Don't think you can fool God or that you can just live life any way you want to and receive the blessings that you want. So, yes, be sold out. Be sold out. In Matthew 6 and 24, it says, no man can serve two masters. Here we go. Can't straddle the fence. Um, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and Maimon. You cannot serve God and man. Listen to the voice of God. Follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. Pray to God. If, you, if there's an area you're struggling, God help me. God, I know you see I'm having difficulty in this area. It's okay. It's okay. None of us um, have reached perfection. I don't believe, you know, we can be perfect maybe through Christ Jesus, but you know, we're all a work in progress. Just when we think we've got it, God will show you up. You missed it, you know, but that's okay. We're human. We're human. It's, it's all good. Trust God, believe in God. So yes, in Exodus 20, uh, Exodus 22 and 20, it says, he that sacrificed unto any God, save unto the Lord, only he shall be utterly destroyed. Any God. So we can't be sacrificing to uh, uh, the God of vanity, the God of materialism, um, the, the, the God of power, earthly power, the, you know, the God of, of, of just uh, selfishness, selfishness. But we got to sacrifice unto our holy father father 
our creator. We got to be totally sold out to God. There's no other way around it. There's no other way through it. There, there's just no other way. You've got to work to be sold out to God. And that just means surrendering your will. As you come on, share the broadcast. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here. Share the grace. Somebody might need to hear this. I'm taking prayer requests during this broadcast. If you have a prayer request, type that into the broadcast and we will definitely pray. But yeah, follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here on Periscope. God gave me the word about being sold out. You might have to catch this on uh, replay, but I've been talking about the book of Mark and, and, and the rich man and the conversation he had with God. And God told him how to have eternal life. And, and But the rich man wasn't obedient. And, and, you know, he missed out on eternal life. And that's for us. God can give us instructions, but if we don't follow them all the way, we can miss out on things in this life and the life after this life eternal life we all if you believe jesus christ as your personal savior therefore you have eternal life but there's more than that god expects more than that he expects he expects obedience he expects surrender he expects loyalty um you know for us to be sold out to him there's no other way around it he wants us to, to for him to be number one priority so that's what god is saying in this broadcast Oh, oh, yes. Oh, first day. God bless you. First day on Periscope. Oh, welcome. Connect, connect, connect with me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson. God bless you. God bless you so much. Everybody, this is your first time watching my broadcast. Let me know. Let me know where you're watching me from. I'm here in the United States. I'm here in Michigan. I'm here near a town, Flint, Michigan. You might have heard of the water difficulties, but I'm just outside of that town. So God is so good. I can be reached at dwilson709 at icloud.com. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, God is so good. So in Colossians 1 and 10, it says that ye might walk worthy of the Lord. We want to be worthy of the Lord. It says unto all pleasing. We want to please God. Please God by our surrendering our will, by being sold out to him totally, by being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So we're fruitful when we're obedient to God. We're being fruitful when we're gaining more knowledge about God. We're being fruitful. We're surrendering our lives to God and, and we're being sold out to him totally. We're not straddling the fence. We're, we're not cherishing our money or our time time or our power, our prestige. We're, we're, we're totally sold out to God, to, to his will, to his way, to, to the things that he wants for our life because we're missing blessings. We want God to know he can trust us. Therefore, God, pour out your blessings on me. I'm going to do exactly what you tell me to do. Amen. Amen. Hey, hey, God bless you. Thank you each and every one for joining the broadcast. As you come on, share the broadcast with your followers. Share, 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 and make sure to follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson. My ministry is Sanctuary of Love International Ministries here in the United States. And share, share, share the broadcast. God is so good. You might have to catch it on replay. I was just here a short time today. But um, I'm going to be coming on Periscope on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm saying uh, it's about two now. So I'm saying about 1.30 p.m. I used to go on Facebook first at noon and then I come come on here. So between 1 and 1.30. God bless you so much. Uh, I had a phone call come through. I don't know what that was about, but. I'm just letting you know, you may have to catch this on replay, but God loves you so much. God loves you so much. I love you with the love of the Lord. Prophet is Debbie Wilson here. Yeah, and my spiritual father, Prophet Jack Shakina Glory, has some uh, deliverance classes. They're $50, uh, cost you $50 U.S. 
You can reach him at sgloryvision at gmail.com. So God bless you. God bless you so much. Follow me. Connect with me. I'm on Facebook. You can friend me, Debbie Wilson, on Facebook. Like I said, God bless you. God bless you so much. Love you all with the love of the Lord. Shalom. Bye for now. God bless you. Surrender. Surrender your will. Surrender fully, not partially. Amen.